go. Let's take a look at this TEK here, 33E, which says, solve problems involving partitioning an object or a set of objects among two or more recipients using pictorial representations of fractions with denominators of 2, 3, 4, 6, and 8. Now let's look at a standard or a, a scenario that's aligned to this standard. There are 24 crayons in a package. If Ms. K shares the crayons equally among four students, what fractional part of the crayons will each student receive? How many crayons does each student receive? So there's two different questions that we're going to have to answer in this scenario. Although the standard says pictorial representations, I'm going to start with concrete objects and then move on to pictorial representations. So, in this scenario, we're talking about Miss K, who's going to take some crayons and share them equally among four students. So I have 24 crayons here, which is what Miss K is starting with, 24 crayons. I'm going to use paper plates to represent our four students. So, if we're going to share the crayon, crayons equally among four students, I'm going to take one crayon and place it on one plate for student one. Take another crayon, place it on the second plate for student number two. Now I'm going to place a crayon on this plate here for student three, and then a one crayon for student four. So right now, each student has received one crayon. We still have a bunch of crayons left. So we're going to continue to distribute evenly the amount of crayons to each student. Okay, so all the crayons are gone, and we have shared them equally among the four students. So first, let's, let's ask, answer the second question, which is how many crayons does each student receive? Well, that's easy to find out. We just need to count how many crayons are on each plate, because each plate represents a student. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 So, each student receives six crayons. Now, the first question is, what fractional part of the crayons will each student receive? Let's review the parts of a fraction, what each part means. So, remember that the numerator, which is the number above the fraction bar, means the number of equal parts being specified. The denominator, which is the number represented below the fraction bar, is the total number of equal parts in the whole or the set. So here, our set contains four equal parts, which are the four students. Each student represents one of the specified parts. Student one represents one of the specified, of one of the total parts, which are four. So each student represents one fourth or received one fourth of the crayons. Each student received one fourth of the crayons. Now, I'm going to go ahead and look keep the same scenario, but we're going to look at a pictorial representation. So here we have a picture of 24 crayons. <clears throat> and we're going to just do basically the exact same thing with the concrete crayons, but we're going to use this pictorial representation. So we have four students still in this scenario. And each student is going to receive an equal number of crayons. So I'm going to give one student or give one crayon to student one. So I'm going to mark that crayon from our original set because we've 
removed it from here and given it to student one. I'm going to go ahead and give one crayon to student two, one crayon to student three, one crayon to student four. So we're going to continue to do that until all of our crayons have been shared equally among our four students. Okay, so all of our crayons have been shared equally among our four students. So again, let's look at let's look at the second question, which is how many crayons does each student receive? One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 Each student receives six crayons. Now back to the first part of, or the first question, which is what fractional part of the crayons will each student receive. So again, <clears throat> remember that our whole was divided into four equal parts. So let's take what we have here and let's, let's group six crayons for each student in our pictorial model. One, two, three, four, five, six. So there's six crayons for student one. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's six crayons for student two. Six crayons for student three. And six crayons for student four. So here are the total of, remember back here, the denominator is the total of equal parts in a whole or a set. So in this set, we have four equal parts. One student is the part that we're looking at. So each student received one-fourth of the crayons. Now, we're going to use the same scenario but just look at a different type of pictorial representation, which is a number line. So here's a number line, numbered starting at 0, going to 24. We already know each student receives 6 crayons. So I'm going to count the spaces so that I can show 6 students, or 6 crayons for each student. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So here six crayons for student one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six crayons for student two. Six crayons for student three. Six crayons for student four. Again, we have four equal pieces, which represents our denominator. Each student represents the part being specified. So each student represents or received one-fourth of the crayons.